Forensics biology is the application of science and crime, so instead of just learning the motives of different people to commit crimes and finding simple evidence on a crime scene, they use applications of different types of science, like chemistry or biology, to solve those crimes. We try to look at the aspects of biology that relate to forensic investigations, um, evidence collecting from criminal acts and things like that. It helps the officers it's kind of like an addition onto what they do. It helps them confirm the stuff that they figure out and helps validate everything when it goes to court. Here at Ferris, we're concentrated in the biology part of it um, rather than just everything. But it's nice because even though you're focused on that and you learn a lot about like bodies and how they decompose, you still get to learn about like fingerprints and DNA and all that other stuff. And it's a four-year program. Requirements for the program are similar to the other biology bachelor's degrees. We have a bachelor's in biology and it has multiple tracks and this is one of them. In terms of requirements, we require them to take the majors, organic chemistry, which is a year sequence, a two class sequence, which means they take the introductory chemistry sequence the year before and then they take a biochem class, but they have their choice. They can take either of the biochem classes. In biology, we have two of our own degree uh, classes, I should say, for the program. We've got biology 207 and 407. And 207 is kind of an overview, but it focuses on ecological aspects, uh, how bodies decompose at a crime scene and that kind of thing. And then the 407 is a class I teach, which focuses on DNA evidence. I really like forensics because it's like solving a puzzle. Um, you know, it's a lot of other sciences, you get trained in doing something and you just do it over and over again. Whereas forensics, you're working towards figuring something out. It really prepares you to think critically and I know that's a saying that a lot of professors tell you to learn how to do, that you're going to learn how to think critically in college, but that's what forensics is. It's applying science and thinking critically with it to solve something that is as you know important as a major crime. The program prepares you to work not only in the crime lab, but it also prepares you to work in the field. So you can be collecting the evidence like out on the scene, or you could also be analyzing it once it gets back to the lab. It also prepares them to go to graduate school, which is the more usual route into the field, and that's typically a master's degree program. Forensic biology is important because it helps to get people like, it helps to solve crimes and that gets like all the bad people off the street and it makes the world like safer for everybody. You really need the science behind you to back you up. I mean you're going to trial and you're, you could be the difference between someone being alive or somebody not being alive. With forensics biology, especially the development of DNA technology, it's really increased the likelihood of cases being solved. Ferris is one of the only colleges in Michigan that offer a forensics degree because um, it's very uncommon to find forensic bachelor degrees. You can actually start taking forensics classes before you get to the graduate level and kind of experiment and see if that's what you really like. Ferris is great to come for their forensics program because they can double major in forensics and another program uh, and it kind of gives them that taste of forensics, but if they don't want to pursue forensics afterwards, if they realize that they don't, that's not the career path for them, they still have all of these science classes that are going to help them pursue a different scientific degree. I think, like any program, the strength is in the people who teach the important classes. And, well, not just the people, but the classes themselves, too. It's kind of more of a whole package that I think is distinctive. The biggest thing is when you're a kid, sometimes you know exactly what you want to do and things change, but from a very young age I knew I wanted to do forensics from watching shows like NCIS and CSI and it's just really exciting to grow up and be able to be one of those people you used to see on TV.